Morning guys, so it's Sunday morning, which can only mean one thing, Sunday long run day. So we've got another local run today. We're going from Phil's house for a change because we are going to start off along the canal and head up through past Appley Bridge and then through Standish. So Phil is a member of the trail running club from the Endurance Store in Wigan and during lockdown they've been posting weekly runs for people to to do at, at the leisure obviously we can't run in groups so we've done a couple of those runs for the last couple of weeks mainly jumping on the the route somewhere near home rather than driving over to the endurance store at Appley Bridge so that's what we're going to do today it's about 13 miles but we are going to be doing an extra couple of miles because we need to actually get to the route first it's a little bit warmer today so I'm hoping it's not as icy as it has been but I did have a peek at the canal towpath as I came over the bridge and it doesn't look great so we shall see right let's go so we just got to the canal that looks interesting um, a bit scary to be honest don't want to end up slipping and falling in the canal but see how we go on right change of plan it's just far too icy look at that so considering we're on the canal for probably about five miles or so I think it's best that we um, do an alternative route so with this being Phil's neck of the woods he's gonna take us on a different hopefully less icy route right now I'm gonna watch Phil negotiate this hill now it without falling and gutted this is loads better I can actually get some running done now oh spoke too soon Proper muddy trails. Not a clue where I am or where I'm going. I'm just following Phil. So, yeah, bit of a mystery tour for me today. So we're two miles in, and we're in Standish apparently. And um, so this is a new place for me running. I've never run round here before. I've only driven through the the town centre. Um, I'm actually starting to feel it already um, and like I said we're only two miles in. Um, I don't know about anyone else but when you're trying to run on ice or avoiding ice patches your body kind of tenses up because you, you're just ready for you to slip. Um, so I think that's why I'm feeling it a little bit more. So at least, at least I'm out, at least I'm doing something. Um, not sure how many miles we'll get through, um, but I'd say anything's better than nothing. Right, let's crack on.
walking than I would like, but it is what it is. just entering Elnut Woods now in Shevington and um, this is somewhere that appears a lot on Phil's runs and it always looks really nice so it's good to be able to get out here and um, see it for myself when you're in a, a new place. Look at this. Right, try and get back up here now without falling. Him. There's a path there. See over here. 
Oh, there he is. I've spotted him. Good one. Notice how I'm a bit more careful than you. Oh, that was cold. Oh, I've got another two, got three, yeah. Not a belting. Joyce of staying local, burnt out cars on the fields at the back of the estate. Lovely. So we're in Standish Lower Ground. Apparently, this is where all the slag heaps were. I'm getting quite a good history lesson today off Phil. This is where he grew up. As a kid, spent most of his time running up the slag heaps. Um, he showed me where the old pit is, where they used to clean the coal, where all the vents are. Yeah, so I'm having a, a good old Wigan history lesson. Phil has just nearly slipped going down here, so he's told me to be very careful. Ow! Bambi on ice. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realise that was a big puddle. Never mind. All part of the fun. And we're back. So just over seven miles done. Um it's just started drizzling, so we're back just in time. Um, quick mud check. So it's obviously been a good run, and I am definitely gonna clean my shoes when I get in. Definitely. Oh, See you later. Clean. 
clean as a whistle.